she left such a, a powerful legacy, as we all know, and she was known for being down to earth, a passionate defender of her family, oh, her sense of humor, and driven by the desire to serve others. She was the matriarch to an American political dynasty, known for her fierce family loyalty. I hated it when anyone criticized my brilliant husband, and I furious when they criticized my son. And sharp sense of humor. That same fellow that I used to yell at to please pick up his rung, to see him as president, it's truly amazing. Born Barbara Pierce, the third of four children. At 16, she met George Herbert Walker Bush at a school dance. They were engaged a year and a half later, before he left for World War II. He knew back home she was waiting. I would stand there and look out at the blackness of the sky, and I would think about friends I lost, a country I loved, and about a girl named Barbara. When he returned, they were off to Texas, where the Bushes raised their six children, but tragedy struck when they lost their three-year-old daughter, Robin, to leukemia. You don't get over it. It's very hard to talk about her, but... I know. Even now, after mm -hmm. all these years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it makes everybody more valuable. George Bush and I love every single living human more because of Robin. While her husband planned a political career, Mrs. Bush was there by his side all the way up to the nation's highest office, President of the United States. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. The woman with the down-to-earth style thrust into the glamorous role of First Lady, an irony she would joke about when she got to the White House. Please notice the hair, the makeup, designer clothes. As First Lady Barbara Bush left her own mark promoting literacy. And after she waved goodbye to the White House, eight years later, a new chapter would begin. Mother, everybody loves you and so do I. Growing up, she gave me love and lots of advice. I gave her white hair. And her marriage, well, a love story lasting more than 70 years. Mrs. Bush, a rock by her husband's side, also called the glue that held the Bush family together. My dream for our family has always been they'd grow up, they'd get a good education, they'd be happily married, or they'd find someone they could be happy with, and that they would then turn around and give back to the country, because they're so lucky. And my dream has been answered. And in her final hours, she was surrounded by the ones she dreamed for and loved so very much. All that family photo, mm. seeing everyone. She was passionate about her family, and serving this country. And she chose to have them all by her side yep. in those final moments. Mm -hmm. She did. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.